So Angelina Jordan with Suspicious Minds, Elvis Presley cover. And this is, I've seen this a number of times. It's not a first time reaction. And this is, this to me is just an epic homage to Elvis and Priscilla and that whole, the whole era of Elvis Presley. The whole thing, this is, this is a masterpiece. And it's, uh, not only that, the way she did the song and then, <laughs> what she's wearing, where she is, what she's doing, you know, the whole, the whole, the whole thing. Just a masterpiece. Well, instead of me telling you how good it is, why don't we watch it and find out together, okay? I already know, but maybe some of you do, some of you don't. Let's take a look. Starting with the setting in this beautiful antique shop, it's just perfect, isn't it? Paul McCarthy directed it. Angelina's grandma, Mary Zamani, is the executive producer. And a little puff of dust off the piano. <laughs> it's like, everything's like perfect, right? Beautiful chandeliers. got the I, I guess those look like when she came in the building and right in the first part there she had shoes on and uh, they, I think they were I don't know about blue suede but they were kind of bluish uh, I don't know about the suede part but I think that's probably what that was representing and then the black uh, leather outfit that Elvis wore in one of his uh, return engagements I think out in Las Vegas where he one of me I think he's well I think he's saying suspe suspicious minds was his last number one signal sig, sig, single and you know I think he performed it a number of times uh, but of course it was getting a little bit later in his career and if you've uh, seen that video of then you can find that on YouTube I mean he was a Elvis was a uh, performer good great singer the king right and uh, you can't you can't deny that. And also a great performer, a movie star, you name it, all the all the above. And he had a he had charisma, uh, loved by many, still loved by many. And you can't deny that he was a great uh, a great singer and all that. I'm not trying to deny it at all. All I'm trying to do is watch Angelina do her version of it. And at the same time, she didn't have to come out here looking like Elvis, trying to pay uh, homage to Elvis and everything. But she does, that's part of her character and her nature. You know, she pays homage to all the past greats. They're all kind of part of her, I, I believe. And that's not to take anything away from anybody. You know, the, the fact that she would do this, spend this much effort and time to do this is just outstanding. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. You know, I give her a lot of credit for wanting to do that, too. And because nowadays, you know, how many, how many, do, how many of the newer artists actually seem to give any credit to anything other than themselves really I mean I hate to say it that way but I think it's kind of true and I mean there's a few out there that are pretty uh, uh, a little bit outside themselves but not 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 that many really anyway let's get on with the show I'm taking up too much time talking we can go on together 
She puts, she Angelina Jordan's it, and bam, throws it on there, right? And it's just, it's just beautiful. And I'm going to stop right there. All right, that's a good picture. Anyway, so Angelina, uh, everything, the guitar, the, the, the leather suit, the hairdo, the, the environment, her style, everything about it. And then she, of course, she has her um, cousins there, and uh, and of course her sister Juliet. Uh, when the, when the kids come on the screen here real soon, and uh, you know it's just her grand her grandmom's the ex executive producer, the one that uh, helped raise her, I think, and has a huge influence on her life. And I think that's Rob Christie playing the piano. He's a great piano player. I think he has something to do with Republic Records, too, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, if anybody knows any details about things like the, the guitar, some people have speculated the, car, the guitar was had something to do with Elvis, or maybe it was a, a model that he used, and maybe it's the exact one. Who knows? I don't know. But um, I, I'm sure there's somebody out there that knows. Cause there's an awfully lot of very educated and very well-informed Angelina fans, I have found out. And it's great to pick up some little pieces of information. And uh, the whole thing, the whole thing. Look at this. How beautiful is this whole thing? It's like perfect in every way. And Angelina's voice, she comes right out here and starts off with power. And uh, it's it, it's just, uh, you know, it's no discredit at all to Elvis. It's, it's an homage. And Angelina has a fantastic voice. A lot of people like to say things like, well, Elvis would be proud. I don't know if Elvis would be proud or not. Maybe. But... I know that um, uh, he certainly would be one that would probably recognize her talent in some way. And, uh, I mean, it's undeniable anyway. And he was, uh, he was actually uh, at different points in his life, usually in the early part of his life. He was very, uh, I think before the stardom got to him in a lot of ways, he was very much a, a, a decent uh, I'm not saying he wasn't decent when he was older, but he was a nice, I guess, a kind of a nice person. He used to hang around churches, and that's how he learned how to dance and uh, some of his style and all that, which is, you know, what can you say? It's all part of who Elvis was. And Angelina uh, somehow picks that up here as a young girl and is able to put out a beautiful song. And Elvis is all in there, too. That's that. I guess that's the whole point I was trying to get to. That sometimes people do covers and they try to change the whole thing entirely into a whole different genre and everything. And sometimes people try to be like the original, which is oftentimes doesn't work out real well. 
But Angelina does something different than that. She takes the song, reinterprets it her way, but she still pays respect to the uh, Elvis, the, the artist that made it famous and uh, the one song that he's known for. So I gave her a lot of credit for that. And again, it, to me, the, the thing with Angelina is she's a young girl yet, and there's a lot of good singers out there. There really are a lot of other good singers out there. Other, what they 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 just don't have the extra stuff that Angelina has, uh, in my opinion. Some of them have some of it. Some seem to. Um, some may genuinely have things like Angelina has, like they had the ability to add in the emotion and the feel and all the other things that are most of them are intangibles actually, and. Again, Ed, too, that, you know, I'm I'm me, and I'm a little bit weird, maybe sometimes weird. I don't know if I'm that weird, but, for example, I don't like strawberries. I have never liked strawberries. Eh, maybe never is too strong of a term. When I was a little kid one time, I one of my first jobs I ever did was working on a farm picking strawberries. And I think I ate too many of them at some point. And after that, it was ix day on the strawberries day, okay? I was done with strawberries forever. I think I... Probably walked out of there 50 pounds heavier with strawberries in my belly. And that was the end of strawberries for me. I never liked them after that. The good news is it made me a better strawberry picker because I wasn't eating them like everybody else. Everybody else would eat one, pick one, eat one, pick one. I just picked them all and put them in the basket. So uh, that was good news. But the, uh, you know, but I like Brussels sprouts, asparagus, which I just had the other night with a friend of mine uh, that went to his, his wife and his invited me out to their house, and uh, broccoli, I love broccoli, you know, so I like those things, but I don't like strawberries, what's up with that, who don't like strawberries, right, so you go to, you go to listen to somebody like Angelina, it's like, you know, I can praise Angelina all day long, because you know what, I think she's the best, and I can say a lot of things about her, because I think she's the best, and then uh, there can be other people that don't, you know, that think a little differently, I mean, that's fine, we're all different. But uh, there's actually people out there that like strawberries. I know there are. There's a lot of them, actually. <laughs> anyway, that's kind of a weird analogy. But, it's, you know, like I said, a little weird. Yeah, maybe sometimes. So, anyway, I'll quit rambling on. I just think, I just think this is a master. The whole thing's a masterpiece. It, it harkens to me. It harkens back to uh, when she was nine years old and did I put a spell on you. To me, that thing is a, that, that's a masterpiece, too. It's just a work of art. The whole thing, start to finish, all the way through. Every note, every... Every speck of that is a, is a masterpiece. Uh, and this one is, to me, fast forward to now, and this this is also a masterpiece. Almost everything Angelina does is a masterpiece, but these are particularly, a lot of effort was put into making them a masterpiece, too. Anyway, I'll quit talking, blah, 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 because I could talk on forever. So please go and uh, make sure that you visit uh, Angelina's, uh, all her pages, the, the official page, the cover page, and so on. And if you'd like to... Uh, Subscribe to my channel. That would be great. You can do a comment and a heart and all the other stuff on the way out, and I'll get back to you. And that's about it. That's enough for that one. I can ramble on until um, she comes out with another one 20 years from now. <laughs> another Elvis cover. But uh, anyway, we'll get out of here. You guys have a nice day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.